while Sony and Panasonic are jumping on the OLED bandwagon. Along with LG at CES 2017, Samsung have resolutely stuck with its quantum dot technology, now under the new moniker QLED. Here, we take a closer look at these two dueling screen technologies and see how Samsung's QLED compares to OLED. Although we saw quantum dot technology in Samsung's high-end 2016 TVs, this year the TV Titan has rebranded them as QLED. The main difference between Samsung's QLED TVs and OLED is that Samsung still rely on an LCD backlight. With each OLED cell being able to produce its own light source, OLEDs are known for deep blacks, giving the picture a more defined contrast and sense of depth, backed up by natural and vibrant colours. The lack of backlight also allows OLED screens to be super slim. While we've seen numerous OLED TVs from LG in recent years, the first OLED sets from Sony and Panasonic will arrive in 2017, leaving Samsung out in the cold as the only major TV manufacturer without OLED. But Samsung claimed to have improved their quantum dot technology for 2017, with a new backlighting system that throws light in more directions. This year's QLED TVs should have wider viewing angles and a greater colour consistency when watching off-centre. It also allows the QLED TVs to go brighter than their OLED rivals. We also expect Samsung's QLED TVs to be cheaper than the notoriously pricey OLED sets. We'll be testing both the new QLED and OLED TVs when they arrive on shelves later in the year. But in the meantime, keep checking Witch Tech Daily for the latest news from CES.